here is the basic satellite installation and setup overview for Amico Mini HD SE. You'll hit menu, you'll go here to installation. Satellite installation. Your first line, press OK. You can choose whatever uh, satellite you wish to configure. And the first part is going to be very important to you guys running standard KU LNBFs. All of our receivers come set up with 10600 and 22 kilohertz on for 72 to 125 west KU birds. This is for use with the universal LNBF and it locks it to high band so it doesn't waste time scanning the low band. Now if you're using a standard you'll need to go up to where it says LNB type standard press the OK key and here you can switch to various frequencies. We'll want 10750 Another important thing on all these Amico Alley boxes, for some reason the menu key when you're in the menus takes you one step back. If you hit the exit key like you would on most other STBs, on this one it'll send you right back out to watching satellite. So remember menu for back, exit brings you right out of everything and back to watching TV. So I'll hit menu to back out of that. Now that I have the LNBF settings correct for the titanium standard I have on the dish right now, signal bar locked. Here you have your standard uh, DISEC uh, 1.0 you know, for two way and four way switches. 1.1 supports up to. 16-way switches. This is where you configure one of our uh, 8x1s as well. And yes, they do, uh, at least the Amica ones, stack great on these. So your positioner setup. We'll go over to U-Cell since that's what we're using. Leave your local on manual because that's all for Europe. Change these numbers to your longitude and latitude. Step move moves it uh, east or west to click. Continuous, it just keeps going. Limits, I don't personally recommend using software limits. Use a, a physical limit if you really need one. Go to reference, brings your motor back to zero. Now if we wanted to switch this to Oops, 1.2, we'd highlight where it says positioner and we'd use a left to right arrow. Basically the same deal except uh, you can choose your position number and hit save. That would save this as position number one. Twenty two kilohertz we can have off since we're not using a switch and we happen to have a standard LMBF on here. Polarity options. This is uh for your guys using a, a manual rotor if you only need to run uh, one polarity, you'd set that. LMB power on or off. Now you want to go do a blind scan on this. Over here you see the the white hint for blind scan. If you hit that, it's going to blind scan everything FTA and encrypted. What most people in North America are going to want to do is hit the single scan with the red key. Switch this to free, assuming we want to do just free to air, TV and radio, or we can do you know, any combination there. Switch this to blind scan. Arrow down to OK to search. 
Hit OK. That'll start the blind scan. All right, your other options in the installation menu. FastCan satellite, that's for Europe. Auto installations for Europe, so you don't need to bother with that. Satellite guide, you might find this uh, useful. You can uh, enter your location here, and then uh, say down here you wanted to find your, uh, your aiming for 121 West. You'd put that in there. You hit calculate and this will show you your azimuth and elevation to aim your dish to.